what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? B2K's Jay Boog, who is a cast member on Love & Hip Hop, has a baby mama who don't like black people. She made her proclamation in a video where she said, I like Mexicans, I like white people, I hate black people. And I can say that she said, I'm not racist because I'm all of them. Now, what would make somebody who would, at least anybody would look at and say, that's a black person. What would make somebody say something like that, right? Okay. She said when she was younger, the black girls used to pick on her, the ghetto black girls. She would, she would specify the ghetto black girls would always try to fight her. And they were mad because she always had the cool dudes. And she went on to say that, well, I don't hate black men. I just hate the black ghetto girls. Here's the thing, fam. I'm a ghetto boy and I'm not too fond of people who act ghetto either because ghetto should be a place, not a state of mind. Too often, many of us we embrace that type of state of mind, meaning that anything goes, being belligerent, being wild, thugging it, having a bunch of babies by a bunch of different men, dropping out of school, being a gangster, being criminal. We got people out there that embrace that type of lifestyle. But guess what? They're not just black. They come and all races, all shades, creeds, colors, they're not just black. Too often when people say ghetto, they automatically think black, but there's ghettos all over the world, hence the song that I co-wrote with my writing partner, Scarface. The world is a ghetto. So, why does she feel a need to specify black people being ghetto? And why do so many other people try to act like black people have ghetto on lock? Because we don't, we don't. But here's the deal, she's in her feelings. She got bullied when she was younger and she hasn't been able to get over it. She's still running around acting like she's a victim. Perhaps she was a victim back in the gap, but now she's victimizing others with her reckless conduct, with her loose lips. You know, it's very disrespectful to make those type of inflammatory comments because Somebody is listening who may not have it all together. They're trying to figure out who they are and they hear this person make this type of statement. You know, it could affect how they feel about themselves. There are a whole lot of people out there in their 30s and 40s and 50s who are still insecure and don't really know who they are. Then you hear some idiot like this putting something out there like that, it's dangerous. She must be brought to task. She must be brought to heel. She must be checked. So I don't know her name. And let me say this. I don't know where these dudes from B2K uh, get these girls from, but all of those girls they date seem to be a little screwed up. She said she got five kids. She didn't want to have the last one. That's what she said. I got five. I don't want no more kids. I didn't want the last one. Where do they get them from? This is what happens, family, when you're just going for looks and ass. Oftentimes, girls who just look good, they ain't got nothing else going because all they've ever had to do in their whole life is just look good and people give them stuff. 
people allow them access. They get invited to all the cool parties. All the dudes with the money want to date them and the dudes who don't have money. Everybody want to date them. Everybody want to be around them. But they have nothing up top. Totally airheads. This chick is disgusting. I don't give a damn how she looks. She's disgusting. I don't know her name, but whoever she is, her mama should be embarrassed and her daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>